this week we coming together with The Color Purple by Alice Walker. <laughs> Little girl Silly's life so damn f***ed up that the only hope she got is to write letters to God begging for change. See, she got one twisted ass daddy. Not only is this dude Alfonso always whooping on her, but he also raping her too. Dude got Seely Preggers twice, swiped both kids, and took them out to the woods, probably to kill him. Relentless. The only thing other than God that keeps Seely going is her baby sister Nettie. But soon they get separated when Alfonso sells Seely to some creeper named Mister, even though the brother really wanted some of that Nettie sauce. But life ain't no better with Mister. She's still getting beat. Still getting raped, and on top of it all, she gotta look after all Mr.'s little sh kids. One day, Nettie busts out of Alfonso's spot to see Seely, but she got a roll when Mr. start trying to holler. She promised to write Seely on the reg, but Seely never get a single letter. Sh maybe Nettie dead. Couple years later, all Mr.'s kids peace out of the crib, except his son Harpo, who married some hardcore dame named Sophia. Girl don't take no lip from Harpo. So Celie tell Harpo the only way to keep his dip in check is to do what men been doing to her all her life, five across the face. But whenever Harpo try to keep her down, Sophia ready to bang out like a real bad bitch. She put Harpo in his place. Sophia real pissed at Celie and asked her why she sold her sister out. Celie just say she hatin' cause she want a ball like Sophia. Later, one of Mr.'s on the side, honey, Suge, gets sick and Celie gotta look after her long term. At first, Suge acting like a bitch towards Celie, but when she realized how Celie's life be cause of Mr., she decides she gotta stay and look out for her. Meanwhile, Celie can't keep her mind off of Suge's banging body. Mm, true that. Eventually, Sophia get tired of Harpo always flexing and leaves his ass. But when Harpo got some other girl named Squeak, Sophia come back and pop her right in the mouth. World star! But after Sophia gets in trouble with the law, Squeak start looking after her kids and they become cool. Suge leave for a while and come back with some scrub husband. But that don't stop her from getting freak nasty with Seely. Now this is literature. When Seely start talking about how much she miss Nettie, Suge say she been seeing some letters Mr. been stashing. This punk has been withholding Nettie's letters to Seely. Them letters saying that Nettie hooked up with two missionaries named Samuel and Corinne, and they've been spreading the good word in Africa. Now, not only that, but apparently Alfonso didn't kill Celie's two kids. Nah, they were adopted by Samuel and Corinne back in the day. Ain't that some sh Also, turns out, Alfonso ain't even their real daddy. Finally tired of Mrs. Bullsh**, Celie, Squeak, and Suge book it to Tennessee to start a new life. When Alfonso up and dies, Celie inherits the old family house. After 30 years of being apart, the whole family, including Suge, come together in the old house where it all started. About damn time something good happened in this book. <laughs> Most historical novels always jiving about men doing real trills, <laughs> conquering turf, winning wars, sacrificing themselves. But with the color perp, my girl Awok flipping that sh upside down, showing a woman beasting through oppression, and eventually overcoming the same men who these old school books deem heroic. Them busters might keep Seely down at first, but by the end, she come out a strong, independent woman doing her thing. And the color perp don't stop at flesh and blood. Nah, player. A dub gets straight celestial in our asses, asking us a real important question. Why the hell everybody think God has to be a dude? At first, Seely thinking God an old bearded white guy, but after kicking it with Suge, Seely's eyes get open to all sorts of shit, and she able to reach that next level spirituality. I believe God is everything, say Suge. Everything that is or ever was or ever will be. And when you can feel that and be happy to feel that, you found it. God ain't some brother in the sky who let terrible things happen to people. The big g mans inside of every one of us. Some scholars look at all them whack dudes in the novel and think that the whole damn thing about hating on men. But they be tripping, because on the real, a world where one sex gets priority over another ain't just bad for women. It f***s up brothers' lives, too. Take Harpo. Dude actually likes cooking, cleaning, and doing housework. But whenever he do, his pops busts his ass for it. Instead of living the kind of life he wants, doing the things that mean something to him, Harpo stuck in a backward ass world saying that men can only do some things and women others. Truth is, sexism ain't got no spot in a civilized society, partner. So stop hating and hit that subscribe button, yo. Sparky Sweets out. Peace. Hey, Greg Edwards, thanks for watching our videos. If you want to continue to support Wisecrack and Thug Notes, like and share our videos. Uh, subscribe to our channel, Wisecrack. 
Uh, like our Facebook page, Thug Notes, and even follow us on Twitter, Sparky Sweets PhD, and know that our success all depends on you. And continue to watch our videos. We have a new one every Tuesday. Uh, and thanks. Thanks for the love. Peace.